Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth well and that continue to teach us truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few brothers and sisters listening and learning. Okay. This lesson is going to be a variety of topics. Okay. Concerning what these last days. These are the last days of the last days. Okay. So we're going to get straight into it. This is 2nd Ezra 16. And let's go straight to 70. For there shall be in every place. All across the world. Okay. And in the next cities. It's going to be in the majority of the cities. Because that's where most of the people are. Okay. A great insurrection. What's an insurrection? An uprising. A revolt. Against who? Upon those that fear the Lord. So those that truly fear the Lord. That's who there's going to be an insurrection up against. Okay. The elect. The elect are those that fear the Lord. So there's going to what be what? A slander campaign. Okay. Esau's going to do particular things. He's going to set particular men up. Okay. He's going to set up agents. Okay. Spies. They may, be, they may even be in your camp. All these things are going to be done. Okay. They shall be like madmen. Who? These martial law troops. Okay. Sparing none. Because what have you got lately? You've got the helicopters, the military helicopters going up and down. So something, we know what's going on. Martial law is about to be what? Administrated to the highest level. Okay. And, but spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So Esau is going to send, up, send out his troops. And it's all beginning with the vaccines. The vaccines are being rolled out. In Spain, they said they want to um, they want to push this at what, January? I think it's the 21st of January, if I'm correct. So Spain are looking to fully, 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 there's no shadow of a doubt to fully implement this COVID vaccine. Which actually weakens your immune system. Actually has poison in it. But the main thing is, this is what Esau wants. He wants the people what controlled, chipped. And they shall be destroying those that fear the Lord, for they shall waste and take away their goods, okay? And cast them out of their houses. So certain Akiam are going to be cast out of their houses, okay? This is what time we are approaching. That's why you, what you, have to have, you have to have your spiritual mind, your spiritual antennas. You have to be what, aware. Aware of your surroundings. Aware of who's around you. Okay? For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So some brothers are going to be cast out of their houses. Then shall they be known. Who am I chosen? Then it's going to be obvious. It's going to be clear. Who Yahweh was dealing with. Okay? And they shall be tried. As gold in the fire. So the elect men, they're going to be tried. They're going to be tested. And what's that main trial? The hour of what? Temptation. Jacob's trial, that final trial. Okay. And what's that final trial? The RFID chip. That's the final trial. Okay. Hey, you're all my beloved. Because the elect up. Bear me just a minute. Hey, you all my beloved, because the what the elect, the hopeful elect, they're beloved in the sight of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Okay, serve the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. So they're here. It's already at the, uh, at the door. Okay, but I will deliver you from the same. So it says right here, Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his men from the same. Okay, so those that have trusted in Yahweh Shai. They have nothing to what worry about because they're gonna be looked after. Okay? They're gonna have a plate. They're gonna be they're gonna be look, they're gonna be looked after. And that's what we're supposed to trust in. You got other men teaching the contrary. Okay. But I will deliver you from the same. So you how I was saying that. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your guide. Because what does Satan do? Satan plays on your doubts. 
So what, Yahawashai, this is about faith. He wants you to believe in any situation you're in, he's going to get you out of. Okay, in this situation, we're going to need spiritual intervention. Okay, we are going to need it. Because what's going to save you? What Your faith. And what's going to be your stability? This wisdom. Okay, this wisdom and knowledge, Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. So what's going to keep us stable when everybody else is bugging out? The people of the world when they're bugging out. It's this knowledge. This is what's going to keep us stable. Without that, you're in trouble. Okay, so this is what's going to keep us stable. The wisdom and knowledge. And that's going to be the stability of our time. Okay, bear me just a minute. Go to Timothy's. Because you've got to rebuke that demon, man. You know, many men are coming in a weak, effeminate spirit. Let's go to Timothy's. One and seven. For the most I have not given us the spirit of fear. Okay. But of power. And when it says that spirit of fear, there's two type of fears. There's fearing Esau and there's fearing Yahweh Shai. What type of fear do you possess? The scripture says, for the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So we fear Yahweh Shai. And with us fearing Yahweh Shai, what? The elect you're going to be looked after because you fear Yahweh Shai. You've got to read the, the, the miracles that Yahweh Shai done. Look what happened to Abednego, Shadrach and Meshach. Look what happened to Joseph. Look what happened to all our forefathers when they were in a dire situation. Yahawashai delivered them from them situations. Even when it may seem like there's no way out. No, Yahawashai makes, makes it that there's a way out. For the most I have not given us a spirit of fear. Oh, what are we going to do? You know? See, if you've been worldly all this time, you've been messing about, then you're, obviously you're going you're gonna to have that fear. Because you haven't really been sincere. But of power. So through this word, what we have power. Okay. And of love and of a sound mind. A sound mind is a stable mind. It's not if but maybe. What if this happens? What if this place goes on for another 30 years? Are you bugged out? Why are you you're 30 years? That means you have no vision at all. You're just going through the motions. A lot of men are just going through the motions. We don't, I don't see this place going on for another three, four years, to tell you the truth. According to how everything's speeding up, I don't see it. Time is speeding up. Let's quickly go to Matthew 24. This is Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened. So the days are being shortened. So if the days are being shortened, why are you thinking about 30? That means you're, if you're thinking like that, you're bugged out. You have no vision. You don't really believe. The scriptures say, and except those days should be shortened, where should no fish be saved? Why? Because Esau would just kill everyone off. So the, the, what does this mean? The days are being shortened for the elect's sake. And that's how much Yahweh cares about the elect. And I believe the elect are still somewhat being sealed. Okay? Because if, if that wasn't the case, why would we still be on the highways and byways? Okay? Where should no fish be saved? But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. That's how much Yahweh Yahushua cares of the elect. These days are being shortened. So have you wondered why the days are going so fast? Because things are speeding up. You know? You know when you were younger, it felt like, it felt like the week went so slow. Now th things are changing now. The time's going fast. The times are speeding up. And me have faith that Yahweh is going to come in our lifetime. And I'm praying I'm, I'm, I'm alive to see it. To make it through um, Jacob's trouble, to make it through all these calamities and be able to see Yahweh Shai. You know? That's the goal, that's what I want. But it's all according to Yahweh Shai's um, will. As the scriptures say, let your will be done, so in um, heaven, so be on earth. We want Yahweh Shai's will to be done, so whatever he wants us to go through, we're gonna go through it. Okay? Whatever he, whatever he wants us to go through, we have to go through it. Okay? Bear me just a minute. Oh man. You know? And I just want brothers to be really, 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 really aware because there's a lot of agents set up in these camps, a lot of agents, there's a lot of spies. Okay? Reporting back to Esau. Okay, I have to put that out there because this is going on. But again, we're not to fret because what? Yahweh Shai set them up to do that, to be false prophets, to be deceived, the scriptures say. The deceived and the deceiver are his. 
And the scriptures also say in Jeremiah, trust not every brother, because every brother will, will utterly supplant. Okay, you can't be one-sided with these scriptures. You gotta look. When we read these scriptures, we read all of it. We tell you how it is. Okay? The scripture says what well, every brother will utterly supplant and walk with slanderers. The scripture says beware of every brother, because not every brother is a brother. Okay? After you, you, you don't know what certain men's true intent is. Certain men have got wicked intent. Certain men will come to camp with, with um, spirits on them. Wicked spirits. Mischievous spirits. How do you know after camp a man ain't going right back to Esau? And writing down all this information. Come on bro, you got to look around you. The scriptures tell us in Ephesians, bear me just a minute. Let's go to Ephesians. But it's all according to, everybody's um, doing everything according to prophecy. So you can't really get bent out of shape. It is what it is and we just got to deal with it. Okay. We're really seeing, after that decree went out from the apostles, we're really seeing now like a, a shifting going on. Who's really for you, Habashai? And who ain't really for you, Habashai? We're really seeing it. You know, you may look at that one video a day decree as a small thing. It's, that's not a small thing. That was from your, that order came from Yahabashai to the elder apostle to heart on down. And now you're seeing men, they don't really want to do this. A lot of demons out here. A lot of demons out here. Now you're seeing men that, now you're seeing men, they don't really want to do this anymore. Okay. A lot of people don't want to do this anymore. They're making excuses. Okay, they're, they're, they're making excuses, a whole bag of excuses. They're becoming more evil, they're becoming more corrupt, they're becoming more polluted What by this world. This is what this world does to you. So if you're not in this world, that evil spirit is eventually going to overtake you. Okay? So this ain't about just, come, ain't about just coming to camp, alright, I'm in the spirit. No, you're not in the spirit. What, just because you come to camp? But what are you doing for the rest of the week? For the rest of the week, you're fearful. You're deceiving. You have a chance dealing with those that are sincere. Let's go to Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Circum means full navigation. Circum, you're looking around. You're observing. You're observing your surroundings. Full circle. Speckly comes from your eyes, so you actually gotta spiritually and physically you gotta look around you and see what's happening. What Esau's doing, what two thirds of our nation are doing. You gotta look around, be observant. Even when you're at camp, observe the men around you. Okay, that don't mean you know you're on that spite it, but you observe. Is this man in the spirit? What spirit is he in? What spirit is he in? You want, you want soldiers around you that you know are here to battle, that you know are here for your Habashai, that don't have no ulterior motive. That's the type of men you want around you. Not as fools, so we're supposed to be walking circumcision, not as fools. See, a fool, he's out and about in the world, not knowing what's going on. Okay? But as wise, because the scriptures tell you in Matthew 25, the five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins. The five foolish virgins, they didn't have the oil. They didn't have the oil. So the five wise, the five foolish virgins at this time, because you have five foolish virgins that are in the truth. What are they going to be doing? They're going to be sneaking on your page, trying to get your oil. But they don't have it. But the five wise virgins, what are they going to do? They're going to be applying. They're going to be pondering upon these scriptures. And what? It's going to what? Resonate. And they're going to meditate upon these things. See, a wise virgin is going to meditate on, upon what he's reading. Because he's what he's redeeming the time. A man that's of the world, he ain't going to meditate upon the scriptures. Because he's not redeeming the time. He's in the world. He's going to be destroyed with the world. This is a serious, 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 serious thing. Very serious. You know? And guess what? Those that have been putting their trust in Yahweh Shai, you have nothing to to worry about those that those of you that have been putting your trust those of you that haven't been taking this for a game a joke because a lot of men came into this and this was just like a type of joke like a you know like a school or college curriculum that's how they treated this truth 
you know? And now what these men are being shamed is being seen that they don't really have it. That's why what? The Lord deals with sincerity. Not to say you're not going to slip up. Yeah, but still the Lord deals with sincerity. Okay. So let's go to James. Get straight to it. James 4. And for ye adulterers and adulteresses. Our nation is what? A nation of adulterers and adulteresses. Okay, it's very clear. Okay. Oh man. And adulteresses. Know ye not that the friendship of the world. Okay. So what does friendship of the world mean? When someone's a friend of the world. That means they're a companion of the world. They're a lover of the world. So someone that's a lover of the world. Yeah, we do things in the world. As it says in Corinthians, use the world but not abusing it. But someone that's a companion of the world. What's he going to do when the chip's implemented? What's he going to do when the vaccine's implemented? This guy's going to dip out. This is why you need to observe. Who's ready for the truth and who ain't for the truth? If you know a man ain't really serious about the truth, get the hell away from him. Don't be around him. Because he's liable to, a man's of the world, he's liable to do anything. Because he still has what? He still has the, um, the spirit of the world upon him. And what's the spirit of the world? Go into Timothy's 2, it tells you. Okay. Lovers of pleasures, high-minded, boastful. Okay. Selfish. Despises of those that are good. These are all the attributes of the world. So if you're see, seeing these things, if you know a man's worldly, he's going to possess all these attributes. Ah, covetous. A man that's very covetous. And what happens when a man's covetous? He's going to sell out. He's going to sell out. If a man's, he's going to sell out. And he's going to sell you out. So take heed of that man. Know that the friendship of the world is enmity. It's friction. It puts you at... See, when you're a friend of the world, it puts you at variance with Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So a man that's a lover of this world, a companion of this world, he's an enemy of Yahweh Shai. And that's why the scripture said that there be what? Many anti mashiachs in this time we are living in. A man that's in love with the world, he's an enemy. So you may, there may be a man among you that is in your camp. He's really an enemy of Yahweh Shai and you don't even know it yet. The scriptures talk, talk about not being ignorant in nothing, small or great, a matter small or great. Okay. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High. So anybody that is a friend of the world is an enemy. Now you've made yourself an enemy of Yahweh Shai because you love this world. You love the opinions of this world. Okay. You're chasing the world. You want fame. You want... You want fame. You want the carnal possessions. You want all these women. Is that a bad thing to want that? No, but not here. Because you know this world is what is corrupted. Because in this world, if you want these particular things, what do you got to do? Sell out. Okay. Compromise your what? Your integrity. A lot of men will compromise their integrity. Just, just for their job. A lot of men will compromise the truth. Just for their work. Just to work some more hours. These are signs of men that they don't have no integrity. A lot of men will compromise the truth for their women. Are these men you really want to be around? You have to examine things. Still treat him like a brother, but you may have to keep him at arm's length. Because if the guy is doing that now, and if the guy can't even do the work now, when, look, this is the time to be pushing. If you can't even do this now, what's going to happen when Esau comes in? These guys are going to hide, they're going to run but between their tail behind their, 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 you know. Or snake you out. You know that spirit of you and I, you're coming with me. No, you're going to be destroyed for your own wickedness. You fall out, you're going to be destroyed. Because you still got that, you got, you still got that spirit of, you know, men. They don't really want to do the truth, but they still come to camp because... They don't want it to seem like, they, want, they don't want anybody to take the mick out of them. Well, you could still be coming to camp, but you're still not in the spirit. So either way, you're still going to die the death what? Of, 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 of the wicked. Because you don't believe. You're just turning up. You're just, you're, you're just good at turning up. 
love not the world, man. Because the, the friendship, the friend of a world is enmity with the most high. Do you do you not do you think that the scripture saith in vain? The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy. And that's the spirit. Nobody really wants to call it out. And that's why I put the headlines, what, in one of my um channels. Spirit of the world, envy, jealousy, all these different things, vainglory. Because some of us envious, they desire what you have. This man, some of us envious, they have not worked upon themselves. Yahabasha has not worked upon them. But if Yahweh has worked, if Yahweh did work upon them, they'd what, be taking these talents and using it. They'd be happy. They'd be doing this word with, with joyfulness. <laughs> Excuse me. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, the Most High resisteth the proud. So the Most High is resisting someone that's proud. He can't really sup with them. He can't really work on their mind. But giveth grace unto the humble. So the humbles, they're going to be showing grace. The ones that are lowly. Okay. The ones that are being abased right now. They're the ones that are being showing grace. The ones that are, want to be in these higher positions. Sit in the seat of Moses. Giving out all these orders and not doing it. They're the ones that, <laughs> they're the ones that are being esteemed now. But they're what? They're going to be what? Abased. Quickly go into Luke. See if we can find that. We're in that time. We are in that time. Let's go into Luke 16 and 15. Let's go into 14. Then let's go into 13. No servant can serve two masters. You can't serve two masters. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You're, think, you're, you're thinking about, oh man, but you know, uh, I had this opportunity that Esau gave me. You know, but at the same time, it's getting in the way of the truth. So you've got to pick between what. That's a no brainer. That is a no brainer. You should. That's not even up for question. The truth. But you got men say, oh, you know, I've got opportunities and this will affect my uh, my situation in the world. That means you're of the world. Okay. No man can serve two masters. Make up your mind. Okay. For either he will hate the one and love the other. So you ever got you ever gonna hate the one and love the other? It's simple as that. It's simple as that. You're gonna love one and hate the other. Or else he would hold to the one and despise the other. And what is this goes into what? The mind state of what? Being partial. Being double-minded. So a man that's in a lukewarm state, because this also represents men that are lukewarm, that can't make up their mind if they want to be in the world or they want to be in the truth. This is a man that's double-minded. So what happens to double-minded men? They become partial. Their judgment becomes messed up. And that's going to play out in everything you do in life. Everything. If you're doing it in the truth, you're going to be like that in the world. Okay? Not being able to make up your mind. Okay? And despise the other. You cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. You cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. Oh, you, you know, a lot of us had opportunities. But we put that aside. A lot of men don't want to do that. See, they want to have all their cake and eat it. It don't work like that. You have to put all aside for your Habashai. Philip said that. He counted all things but what? But, but shit. To get dung. To gain Yahweh Shai. A lot of men didn't come into to, to the truth with that. They came into the truth. What? With the world. With that whole baggage of the world upon them. They never really um, grew. They never really put off the world. So they bring that in the truth. Now all this is happening. They find it very, 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 very hard. To focus on Yahweh Shai. Why? Because you were never trimming. You were never really trimming off of the things of the world. And it's not too late, you still got a chance while you're in the truth. And the Pharisees also were co who were covetous. See, they were, you had Pharisees that were covetous, that were greedy of gain. Okay. And jealous of the spiritual things that Yahweh was doing, the miracles. Heard all these things and they derided him. They started scoffing, mocking. And that's what our people would do as well. You see a brother being sincere, doing the work. And you come up against him. That means you're going to be destroyed. You see a man sincere, minding his business, doing the work, and you choose to come up against him. 
That means if that man's a man of the Lord, a potential man of the Lord, that means you're going to be destroyed. Because you, you're, you're coming up against a man of the Lord that you don't even know. That's just doing the work. And you're lukewarm as hell. <laughs> okay. Can't be doing videos about, yeah, we need to push more. We need, But examine these men. They're not doing anything. They're comfortable. You have been brought into this truth to what? To be what? Delivered or to be destroyed. Condemned. So they derided Yahweh Shai, they started scoffing, mocking, because people do that. You would do a video about doing the work. You actually got men that would scoff. They would scoff at you just for telling them to do the work. Go, they would go behind closed doors and murmur. Oh, but look at him, he can't tell me that. Well, that's all right. Yahweh Yahweh Shai, guess what he's going to do? He's just going to remove your spirit. That's all. He's just going to remove your spirit, have you desolate, have you looking silly. Why? Because a man told you. And it's, this, is, this is more than what a man telling you. This is Yahweh Shai telling you. But men don't perceive that because they're so carnal. Well, who's, he tell, who's he to tell me what to do? It doesn't matter about your works. And men will go straight to Matthew 7 and 24. Oh, uh, didn't many uh, men, uh, they've done many full wonderful works and say, Lord, Lord. That was for the men that were not of the elect. So are you going to read Matthew 7, 7 and 24 and say, well, many's done great works. Guys are so carnal. Guys are so carnal. No, you can't read that scripture. It doesn't mean don't do the work. Now you read that scripture and you're going to say, I right, don't do that. No, you still have to do the work. In Romans it says, what's the works without, what's works without faith? And what's faith without works? I will show my work. I will show my faith by my works. And a works, what, what is your works? It's a product of your faith. So if you've got the mentality of coming to camp, whether if you're outside of the camp or in the camp, and you can't even do the basic thing, you're going five days. You have that half assed mentality. What that shows, when I see that, it shows that men are already scoffing in their mind about the idea of doing videos. If it doesn't matter to you, because that's because you're not a man of the Lord. Really, really, you're a demon. You have a problem with doing videos. You scoff at that. And it shows, it shows. Okay, you don't need to say anything, it shows in how men push the work. Got men coming to me, oh, I have this faith, my faith is. I have, I've ha you, you have men come to you, yeah, my faith is just on this level, but they're not showing that. They're doing videos, sound see now, sound like they don't want to do it. So somebody is lying, someone is lying. And he said unto them, ye are the day which justify yourselves. A whole load of men justify themselves. And when you justify yourself, what? It makes you look like a liar. Because the man that's telling the truth, he doesn't need to justify himself. Why? Because Yahweh, Yahweh Shai will justify him. And guess what? Yahweh Shai, you know what the beautiful thing is? Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai justified me many times. And he justified me with um, two examples. A man that was once in the truth that I was laboring with. And I was warning brothers that he was not sincere. He was in the world. He was a demon. So I know when I speak about men being in the world, I know from experience. Because I labored with someone that was in the world and I tried to get him to what? To do the work. And he was always, so I know, I know a worldly spirit. I know, when, I know it when I see it. Okay. And I was telling everybody and guess what? He ended up falling out two weeks after the Passover, which really he was never really in the truth because he never really believed. And I warned the people, what? And it came to pass. And all those that were siding with him, they were confounded. So what? The Lord has his, Yahweh Shai has his way of justifying his men and making these men look silly. And another thing, being lukewarm. I've done videos up on that. Had men ringing my phone. Oh uh, no, I think you're doing too much videos on, on uh, individuals being lukewarm. All right, cool, cool, cool. What happened? Now what's happened? The apostle said what? You got to do your one video a day. Multiple videos from Elder Apostle Taha. Elder Apostle of Ramlab about look a lot of men are lukewarm one video a day so the Lord has his way of justifying his men and making the scoffers and scorners look silly because we told you I told you you can't say you didn't see the videos you can't say you didn't see the videos that the majority of men are lukewarm in the truth and the reason why men are like that because what evil spirits have overtooken a lot of men but what keeps you in the spirit this word we're not always look, we're not going to be in the spirit 24/7 but at least at least strive to strive 
Don't just throw in the towel. But the Most High know if your heart, He already knows your heart, your mind, what you're thinking, even before you thought it. Even what you think against His men when certain lessons come out. He already knows what's in your mind. Whether you're scoffing inwardly, you know, because a lot of men, the spirits let him, the spirits um, makes intercession. A lot of men, I've always had this thought. You know, particular videos you do, a lot of men may watch the videos and say, oh, F this nigga. We're not listening to what he has to say. Who's this guy to tell us what to do? The spirits letting me know that men are, they're in that mind state. And it shows just how they push, it shows how they push the truth. That's why this one video decree a day is beautiful because it, it shows. Um, look, the apostles are not saying, all right, if you miss a day, if you miss two days, that's all right. That's, look, that's all right. But after them two days, are you come back? Like, what are you producing? So this is what's being seen. And don't worry about the apostles looking at you because Yahweh is looking at everything. He knows every man's work, every man's work. Okay, let's quickly finish this off. The Most High know of your hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men. And that goes into what? Respect of persons. You can esteem a man. A man could be highly esteemed in this world, but the spirit is not dealing with him. A man could be highly esteemed, but the spirit is not dealing with him. Among men, so for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the Most High. So that's an abomination as well. See, the love of the world and what's the love of the world? Men being esteemed, status. So that is that which is highly esteemed. It's an abomination to the Habashai. Why don't men bring out these scriptures? So wouldn't it be, knowing this, wouldn't it be better to be what? Kept low. Not, not out there, not all put out there. Because that's what's highly esteemed. Those that men esteem, the Habashai not, might, might not esteem. Because the scriptures tell you in Corinthians, it's not who he that, it's not he that commendeth, but who Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai commendeth. That's who you should seek what honor, glory for, favor from. Who are we seeking favor from Yahweh Shai? And part of seeking that favor is doing this work. The scriptures say charity covers a, covers a multitude of sins. And what's charity? Feeding the sheep. So when you're doing this work, you've got to believe that your sins are being covered through what this work, through sincerity. That time is coming, it's coming man, with that flood, that spiritual flood. And who's gonna be that flood? <laughs> Esau and his troops. Let's go to Matthew 24 and 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender. What does tender mean? It means soft, okay? And put it full of leaves. You know that summer is nigh. That's how you know it's close. That's how you know the seasons. Okay, you can, you can, you can uh, measure up the seasons just by looking at the things around you. Okay, if all the trees are dying, well, you know what? Spring is coming into and what? Winters, we're entering into winter. When everything's blooming, that's how you know you're entering into summer. Okay. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? We was on, yep, verse 32. It's 33. So likewise, ye, when you shall see all these things, what things? The prophecies that I mentioned in Luke 21. And what? The news. You see the vac vaccinations. This thing, this thing is speeding up. There's going to be there's going to be door to door vaccinations. There's going to be vaccination centers that are what that people are going to be going to. Okay. Likewise, when you see these things, you know that summer is nice. So likewise, when you shall see all these things, okay, know that it, it is even it is near even at the door. So it's near. It's at the door. If someone's at your door, they're close. So this is it. This is the time to put in more work. Go extra, go extra hard for your Yahweh Shai. Just how you would go hard for your woman when you were in the world. Or for Esau, for more money. Well, do that for your Yahweh Shai. And even more. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. And this is the same generation that was back here 2,000 years ago. So, so the elect are back here today. The two thirds, those that were murmuring in the, in the um, wilderness, they're back here today. The scoffers, they're back here today. The scoffers and the scorners are back here today. Okay. Esau, back here today. The other nations, back here today. All in their lot. 
Okay, so this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. What things? The prophecies that are spoken of in the scriptures. Okay. Verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away. What does this mean? A man that has no understanding, he's going to think, oh, the whole earth is going to be completely eradicated. No. Quickly go to Ecclesiastes. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Bear me just a minute. See if we can find it. Come on, this is the time to be serious. It's always been the time to be serious. This has never been a joke. Ecclesiastes 1 and 3, one generation passeth away. You have one that's born, one that lives. He has children, they have children. And he passes away, and them children live, they pass away. And another generation cometh. But the earth abided forever. So this earth is going to abide forever. Second as was 6 and 54, it says the earth was created, was made for our sakes. What to be ruled in, in righteousness. That's why this earth was made. Okay? To be ruled in righteousness. Okay. So let's go back to Matthew 24 and 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, and my, but my word shall not pass away. Isaiah 55. Okay, bear me just a minute. So these words are not going to pass away. Quickly go to Isaiah 55. This is Isaiah 55 and 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth. Okay, the spiritual realm. You know, you do know there's a world outside of this world. <laughs> so are my ways higher than you. So like here. For as the rain coming... For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Yeah, yeah. How are the heavenly Father? His ways are higher than your ways. There's a scripture on saying, "How can you search out the heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days? He's before time. You cannot fully comprehend Yahweh in His ways." Okay, we have somewhat idea of what through the scriptures, but you cannot fully, entire, entirely understand Yahweh. Okay, and my thoughts are not your thoughts. So what? The how Yahweh sees things, you don't see it. Okay. There's, there's way he, what, remember this is, this is all like a chessboard, a chessboard game, he's the one who's what, controlling the pieces on this chessboard, okay, but as the rain cometh down, okay, because you may look at a man like, well, I don't believe he should make it, you know, I believe he's a two-third, but the Lord could say, nah, I think, you're, well, you're a two-third, and he's going to make it, and you're not, that's why you've got to be careful who you come up against, okay, for as the, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and root returneth not differ but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth bud forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater okay so what happens when the water disperses what disperses upon the earth everything flourishes and what's this word doing flourishing and giving bread to the eater and this is what our bread okay that we're dishing out okay so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. So this word is compared to what? The rain, what? Watering the crops. Okay, and everything flourishing and rising up. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, empty, but it shall accomplish, achieve that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. So this word's going to prosper. Where Yahweh Yahweh Shai has sent it. Okay. This word is actually what? Going to prosper. Okay. It's going out. Nobody can stop it. The scriptures say, um, if Yahweh Shai be for you, who can be against you? So those that want to come up against this truth, teach a false doctrine, teach that all, all the 12 tribes are Negro. Bro, you cannot come against the truth. And if you're teaching that, you're, you're going uh, waywards to what the apostles teach you. A lot of men want to what, teach in the name of what? So-called Jesus. That's a false doctrine. His name is Yahweh Shai. And the men of the Lord, what they stand stiffly for Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. They were not wavering. They were not timid when it came to preaching the gospel. They stand to what they believe. They were not double-minded. Okay. So bear me just a minute. Where was we back on Matthew 24 and 36? But of the day and hour knoweth no man. So people ask us, oh, when is it going to happen? 
you know well it's happening can't you see what's it's happening it's close we're not waiting long can't you see the prophecies Yahweh told us to look out for these things so now you're looking out for these things you see what's the major prophecy the Arfa, that's the next step then they're missiles and what the elect are out they're out of here but of the day and hour know if no man so we don't know so if Yahweh shall say no man knows the day nor hour including him including the angels don't even know but sit from the heavenly father what are we to do watch and pray no not the angels of heaven but my father only only the heavenly father knows only he knows okay but as the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of son of man be okay so just like how it was in the days of Noah it's going to be in the same 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 time it's going to be in a similar to how it was with Noah what were people doing they were scoffing while he was building what the ark and this is a spiritual ark this truth is an ark it's a covering it tells you in Psalms 91 he that dwelleth under the shadow of the he that dwelleth, dwelleth uh, paraphrasing shall dwell in what the the um the shadow of the almighty okay for as the days that were before the flood they were eating they were drinking they were marrying giving in marriage here it is here it is there's lockdowns and all that and you still got people trying to find mirth in this kingdom when it's going down that's someone that's not really um spiritual that's someone who's not focused that's someone that's not attentive to what's going on around them this ain't the time to make mirth okay they were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage until the day that Noah was into the ark and it was too late because Noah was warning them and knew, knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of son of man be when shall two be in the field the one shall be taken and the other left so it took them away except from what the eight souls that were with Noah and the rest of what the animals that were what, in the ark it's going to be in the same similitude but this time it's going to be with fire when shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and another left. Two gonna be in the field, one's gonna be taken in them chariots, the other's gonna be left to destruction, sadly to say. Two women shall be grinding at a mill. Okay. One shall be taken and the other left. So it's letting you know the other's gonna be left to what? Destruction. Okay. It's letting you know, plain and simple. Okay. Watch therefore. For you know what hour your Lord doth come. So the scriptures tell us to watch. The scriptures, the scriptures Yahweh tells us to watch. So we could, so he's warning us of what's happening. What to look out for. What to document. And there was a decree as well. The elder apostle said it. In one of his videos, the elder apostle Taha. If you're in this truth, you shouldn't be going on Facebook. You shouldn't be on Instagram. Okay, unless it's anything to do with what? Your personal business obligations okay and that's it men want to merge that worldly spirit because they're worldly okay so this is the time to watch watch for the prophecies okay watch therefore for you know not what hour your lord you have have come but notice if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come he would have watched and not suffered his house to be broken up to because you're alert you're vigilant you're circumspect therefore be also ready for in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man come. So we always got to be ready, constantly ready for Yahweh Shai. Constantly. Okay. Who then is a faithful servant? Wise and faithful. Wise, faithful and wise servant. The Lord is looking for those that are faithful and that are wise servants. Not the opposite. Someone that's faithful. No matter. You don't got to keep an eye on him. You know he's going to do what you've told him to do. Don't need men to keep an eye on you. You don't need to be supervised. Yahweh just looking on that. Yep, I can trust him. He's gonna do the work no matter what. This man, I can't trust him. He's gonna be lukewarm. He's gonna stay lukewarm. Who then is a wise and wise servant whom his Lord have made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? That meat is a reward. That's what we're waiting for. You're gonna what? Get your pay which is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So we want to be found what? With these words still in our mind, not going back into the world. Okay, but this truth still within us. 
Okay, verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods, the kingdom. But and if the evil servant, and you got many evil servants, sadly to say, okay, because what's an evil servant? An evil servant is going to have an evil mind. An evil mind means evil spirit. <laughs> okay, shall say in his heart, my Lord, the life is coming. You got men coming to camp with their hands in their pockets. They don't want to really be there, looking about, you know, just looking about. They don't really want to be there. Well, your is just going to get rid of men like that. Okay. But if the evil servant shall say in his heart, see, so you have evil servants that say in their mind, you've got actually men that are doing the work, that saying in their mind, convincing themselves. Okay. Okay. My Lord, the life is coming. See, they're saying the opposite. They say they want your to come back, but their actions are showing different. Because if you wanted your to come back, guess what? You'd be pushing the word. My Lord, the life is coming. Okay, so this is what men are saying in their minds. And shall begin to smite his fellow servants. And that means, it doesn't mean you're beating him, you're punching him. That means you're doing evil to your brother that's in the truth. You're actually working evil against him. Okay. To smite his fellow servants. And to drink with the drunk and go back into the world. And the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. And in an hour that he is not aware of. And shall cut him asunder. Appoint him his portion with the hypocrites and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So that's a judgment. There's a judgment for those that are what wise and faithful, and there's a judgment for those that are evil servants. And those that are evil servants, what there's gonna be what? They're gonna be reserved for what? Gnashing of teeth and judgments, weeping and gnashing of teeth. And you're gonna have your portion with the hypocrites because you knew better, but you chose what? To chase the world or chase what your worldly ambitions. Okay? So we just have going to shut off here. Lord winning, this was edifying. And until the next time, shalom to the hopeful elect across the globe. Shalom.